Hey what's up guys, today we're doing a little bit more of spawn manager stuff so we're gonna hold the list of all the waves we can play and also add a victory condition. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright so most of our modifications today are going to be done inside the level manager. So let's open it up and then we're going to start adding a lot of stuff in there. Um, starting with two boolean so private bool spawn active and this is going to check whether or not our spawner are currently spawning stuff and then just below that private bool wave active and this is going to check if the wave is currently active which means it's the same thing as a spawner but it's going to wait until all the enemies are dead before saying it is not active anymore okay and uh, yeah, the main, the main purpose of uh, this episode was to create some kind of list in which we can hold the, uh, the waves in. So let's go up here and we're going to include the system.collection.generics so we can handle lists. And we're going to declare ourselves a private list of wave. And I'm going to call waves and instantiate it right away. Okay. Now this list, I want to be able to fill it whenever the game starts. I don't want to have to manually set it. So I go ahead and do a public override init. So this is like a start. And in here I'll say for each wave w in get component. Oh wait. For each wave w in get component with an s. Get component wave. Then we're going to do waves.add w so i'll i'll need to put all my waves object on the level manager for this to work okay now let's go down here actually i'm going to move the update right about here and we're, we'll modify this a little bit so the first thing we'll do actually is create ourselves some other function such as a private void start wave and a private, actually this one is going to be public, public void and wave. And in there we'll say, well first let's start with debug log. So for the start wave, debug log wave is starting and then it will say waves at the index 0, so the first wave, dot start wave. Spawn active is now equal to true and wave active is now equal to true as well. Okay, so in an, in um, our update now we can change this line of code over here for start wave. So this is a little bit more clean. What we'll do now is code the end wave. So in here we'll say debug.log wave is ending. And we're going to do what we usually do, so destroy the wave um, at the index 0. So we destroy the script, the object, and then we'll say waves remove at 0. So once we destroy the script, we also get to remove it from the list. And that is why we um, write waves.remove at, so we don't get a missing null reference error. And also in the end wave, we'll say a spawn active is equal to false but we won't say wave active is equal to false because we're not sure if all the enemies are dead just yet okay so using these two new functions now we well we replaced the um, what we had over here for start wave now we gotta go replace the end wave and that was done inside the um, wave script so inside the, the wave script where it says hand wave instead we're gonna do actually I'm gonna leave the end wave we're gonna do um, no, I'm not going to leave the end wave because we already have a debug, that's right. So yeah, we're going to do level, level manager dot instance dot end wave. And this should take care of um, destroying the object for us and also removing it from the list. We also got this problem somewhere else over here in the update. So let's just put it there as well. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit, just like this. And okay, so now this should be working just fine. One more thing I'd like to do is I'd like to check if there is 
like if there is a waves left inside my my wave list so are we done playing the level completely or are we waiting for another wave to start to do that I had a level clear condition down here we already have the defeat but now we need a private void or victory there let's call it victory Vic Tori just like this and we'll say debug.plug level is cleared so to do that we need to check if all the enemies are dead yet um, the enemies of our wave so what I'll do is I'll actually go up there in the update and we'll change things around just a little bit instead of having this what I'll do is I'll start with a check that says if wave is not active then if it is not active I'll do if input dot get key down key code um, key code I can't write today key code dot k so if the wave is not active and I press k then we're gonna do start wave same thing as before but we had a, a uh, wave active check now if the wave is active we need to find a way to turn it down to uh, turn the wave active boolean to false so what we'll say over here is uh, if we are done spawning so if spawn active is equal to false and uh, game object dot find game object with tag and then we'll give the enemy tag is also equal to false so if the spawn is no longer active and we don't find any object that has the enemy tag then that means the level is cleared so we'll say debug.plug actually the wave is clear so wave cleared and also wave active is now equal to false and over here we'll do the if waves.count is equal to zero so if there is no more waves to do after this one then uh, victory victory like this as simple as that well, I mean, it's pretty messed up. It doesn't look that simple, but it works just fine. So let's go back in game and test this out. I'm going to go on my level manager. I'm also going to change the waves a little bit. So I only had one event for the first wave. In that event, it's going to be uh, 15 seconds of three spawners. Spawner number zero, one, and two. And I'm going to be spawning 10 balls on each single waypoint or spawn point. Okay, so that's our, our uh, first wave. Now I had a new wave to this, so I'll drag and drop another wave. This is wave number two. And in wave number two, I'll spawn three boss. So a single event that is going to spawn on three different spawn points. So spawn point zero, one, and two. I'll spawn a boss, so I need to move this to one. And I spawn, say, um, three boss on the main spawn point, so spawn point zero, and then one boss on each side. Like this, at an interval of one second, actually 2.5 seconds. And uh, yeah, let's play this. So I'm hitting play, press K. Wave is starting. I'm pressing K again, but nothing happens because wave active is equal to true. Now we wait for this to end. And we'll see over here when it ends. Okay, end event wave is ending, but it's not cleared yet. And now wave is cleared because there is no more enemies on the field. I press K again. It spawns the bosses. Now the, the event is ending, the wave is also over, but the wave isn't cleared yet. And it should be now. Level, well, wave is clear and then level is cleared. Level is cleared means victory. So the level is completed. Now, assuming we didn't pop the defeat uh, condition before that, then the player wins. Okay, so this was pretty much it for this video, guys. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for more of these. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.